This is Sabina Turner, and we're here live outside the Randolph Courthouse as the sentencing hearing for Private Ann Jones is scheduled to begin momentarily. As some of you may recall, there was some controversy surrounding her guilty plea for treason six weeks ago. We will keep you updated on this developing story. I am Sabina Turner, Channel 12 News, reporting. All rise. The Honorable Marvin Hudson will be presiding of today's proceeding. Please be seated. This court is now in session. Private Ann Jones, please rise. Private Jones, you have been charged with one violation of Article 104, UCMJ, aiding the enemy. Under the United States Code, this charge applies to any person who aids or attempts to aid the enemy with arms, ammunition, supplies, money, or other things. Your plea of guilty has been entered and accepted by the court. We are convened today to hear matters of insinuating circumstances that might bear on your sentence, as is within the authority of this court to rule in favor of the death penalty. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I call Private Ann Jones to the stand. Private Jones, you understand it's still a no. Yes, sir. Ms. Ferguson. Thank you, Your Honor. Private Jones, to reiterate previous testimony, you provided a firearm to Ms. Sharif, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Why? Why did you do that? I believe she would need it for self-protection, ma'am. But she was a civilian, living in a town occupied by your unit. Surely your unit did not intend to open fire upon the civilians in the town. No, ma'am. Members of my unit intended to rape Ms. Sharif. They said that? Yes. Objection. Hearsay. I trust subsequent testimony will corroborate. Yes, Your Honor. Proceed. And did you have good reason to believe that they were serious? That it wasn't just male posturing? My legs are gonna be sore tomorrow. Yeah, who you telling? All right, guys, thanks for walking me home. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, so we got you. Or Jones, it's, it's cool if I use the bathroom? I guess so. Just don't go blowing up my bathroom. Yeah, whatever. No, I didn't think I was having a house party. Yeah, you can say that. Look, you've been at the unit for three months now. You think it's time we initiate you into the fold? Now, what the hell are y'all talking about? Back up. You grown. A little bit a lot easier if you don't fight. No, y'all need to get out of the house. No, we're in the same unit. Are y'all freaking kidding me? Stop. Somebody help. Get off me. And you didn't report this? No, ma'am. Not until now. May we know why? I was persuaded that it was not in our best interest to do so at the time. By our, you mean? Our unit, our country, the U.S. of A, ma'am. So, all you're saying is you get hazed last night? Is that what you're calling it? Oh, don't go all prissy. It's for your own good. Look, if you ever get taken POW, what do you think they're going to do to you? This way, you'll be prepared. You won't fall apart. Consider it a training exercise. Do they haze each other? Oh. Do they subject each other to training exercises involving rape? How am I supposed to trust the men in my unit now? How am I supposed to put my life on the line for them? Oh, please. Do you think you're special? Do you think you're the only one? But Thank God. You report this, and we lose them. We can't afford to lose any more men. We're not exactly winning this war. If you can't think of a country, then go ahead and think of yourself. 
you be known as the troublemaker. See who puts their life on the line for you. But assuming you believe Private Delton's explanation, Ms. Sharif wasn't part of your unit. So the men in your unit would have no reason to subject her to any such training exercise. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And yet you still believe they were going to rape her? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Let's get it, Joan. Can we please get back to the previous conversation? But why did they do it? I mean, you can't just say it's like they got carried away with the violence of the moment. It's not like discharging your weapon 10 times when twice would do. Plus, they're planning this. Well, they can be pretty chauvinistic. <laughs> You're acting like this is all about male egos? That doesn't make any sense. Plus, there's females in this unit too. You're assuming it's a rational thing. It's not. It's an insecurity thing. Sex is power over, that's all. I've made excuses the last couple weeks. If I don't go with and take part soon, I'll be next. You're saying this is regular Friday night entertainment? Come on, John. So you wanted Miss Cherie to be able to protect herself against the coming rape? Yes, ma'am. You knew Miss Cherie? No, ma'am. She worked at the restaurant in town. We all knew her in that capacity. But how did you know where she lived? I happened to be on patrol one night and I saw her leave after our shift. She only lives a few buildings down from the restaurant. I see. So you went to Miss Cherie's apartment prior to Friday night and offered her a gun? Yes, ma'am. Yes? I wonder if I might come in and speak with you for a moment. Is there a problem, Private Jones? Not exactly, but I'm alone and I'm not on official business. I was just wondering if I might come in and speak with you for a moment. But you're in uniform. Yes, I suppose I shouldn't be. Thank you. You're welcome. We don't have a problem here, do we? It's okay, Adela. I saw her at the bar a few times. Private Jones, why are you here? I don't... I don't really know how. I don't... I think you might need this. Take it. I have reason to believe that tomorrow night, you may be in need of it. But... Do you need me to show you how to use it? No. No, I know how to use a gun. You see, I already have one. As you can see, we're both good in that department. Is this a stolen gun? No, it's a government issue. Every household was issued a gun by our government several weeks ago. This wasn't obtained on the black market? No, I had to go to the military supplies at our defense department to pick it up in person. That was the mandate. What was it about the gun that surprised you? It was engraved, made in the USA. Order! Order in the court. Does the chain of custody show that in the evidence collection? Uh, yes, Your Honor. The official records verify that information. Very well. Ms. Ferguson, please continue. Thank you, Your Honor. But you later found out that that's not so surprising. You discover that American manufacturers routinely sell to whatever countries are willing to buy, including countries that may have been or may become our enemies. But they do not sell to countries that are currently our enemies. Of course, that never happens. And was it that discovery that motivated your earlier comment about justice for all? Yes, ma'am. If I'm to die for aiding the enemy, I should be able to tell the whole truth. Objection, Your Honor! I demand that Private Jones' last statement be deleted from the court record. Objection! I object! I protest! 